Hello my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. This video has just sort of been building little by little. I've been thinking about all these products I'm loving so much. They've been kind of random. There hasn't been just one solid category for what I wanted to talk about. And I didn't do a favorites video this past month. So I just thought, you know, maybe now's the time to just sit down and share what's come to be 10 various beauty products that I want to tell you about. It's pretty much split like makeup and body care, hair, skin type stuff. And yeah, it's just products you should know about, things you should have on your radar. First thing, makeup wise, that has been impressing me so much, the more I use it, the more I'm like, wow, this feels like a really special primer. And it's the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer in the Brighton shade. It says crystal-like skin with vitamin C, and um, you may have seen me use this in a video not all that long ago. I can link to that so you can have that reference, but I'm wearing it as my primer today, and it just gives so much juiciness under whatever foundation you're going to use. Like, it's gorgeous on the skin. It's like it doesn't contain little bits of shimmer, but it just makes the skin so incredibly, like, glowy and juicy looking without really being over the top tacky. Like there's certainly some extra moisture in this product, no doubt about it. But for as glowy as you look, you'd think you'd have to feel even more like sticky to get there. And I think this is so pretty on the skin. I think if there's any foundation that you wanted to look a little more radiant, if it's not a super full coverage foundation, you're gonna see through to at least some of the benefit of this really glowy, ultra, ultra radiant primer. Like I was so surprised that this made as big of an impact as it did because so often with primers, you'll put them on and be like, okay, feels like a little added layer of moisturizer, but what did it really do? This definitely gives you that, as it says, glass shine glow across the skin, and then you pop foundation or whatever else on top, and I would say the more sheer your coverage product, the more you um, kind of see through to that glow. If you've got a little more coverage, like I'm wearing a strong medium coverage over the top of it, and I still feel like I've got some glow to my skin, but my primer and my foundation are kind of balancing each other out a little bit right now. If I put something really light and hydrating over top of this like a tinted moisturizer or something I think you'd have an extremely glowy look but I just love that I think if you've got kind of some dry skin maybe your skin's feeling dry from summer and pool chlorine and all that stuff this is that little something extra after your skincare after your sunscreen pop on this primer and it's just a juicy gorgeous look also a foundation I wanted to mention this is product number two um, Believe Beauty I've been rediscovering my Believe Beauty foundation it's called skin finish foundation and I wear it in the shade cashmere this is Dollar General's exclusive brand, and this is an incredible foundation, guys. First off, the glass bottle, like it feels pricey. It's five bucks. And the coverage is, like I said earlier, a strong medium. Look up close at my skin, and I can still maybe see through to some freckles and stuff, and I definitely benefited from concealer in certain areas. This isn't like blanket out full coverage, but my best way to describe this after using so much Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, to me it feels a lot like the coverage level of the matte photo focus, um, but a little more like natural finish on the skin. A finish that reminds me slightly more of the dewy. Now, the Wet n Wild dewy isn't even that like, wow, sticky tacky skin, you know, but there's a distinct difference between the dewy and the regular or the matte. That was the first one they put out. And this definitely comparable coverage to the matte, but a little more natural finish on the skin, I think. But it wears really well on me. I think it looks really pretty on. I really just hadn't picked it up in a while, but I'm loving it all over again. Again. You know, sometimes with mascara, the more you use one, the more you love it. Like it just kind of gets better with time and you really hit that sweet spot where it's building and applying so well. And that's what's happening with me right now with this Lawless Mascara. It's called the One and Done and it's so good. And I was talking about, like, I think I mentioned in a video where I was seeking it out because I love the little end, how it's got that little like starburst kind of thing happening at the end with little bristles spouting off all over. And that kind of reminded me of that element of the L'Oreal telescopic explosion. Remember the mascara with just the little ball on the end? And I felt like it was helping me reach lashes on this eye a little bit better without having to just go in like this. You can go at your lashes at any angle and get them built up with this stuff, but it turns out to be like a really thick, dramatic looking lash, I think. Um, it builds so much and it's a 
thickening mascara, really. Yes, it adds length, but my goodness, it adds a very dramatic look, kind of like what you'll get from Superhero, if not even maybe more dramatic than that. It just builds and builds. So a super buildable, super thick, thickening formula. If you tend to be a fan of like the most defining mascaras, that it maybe darkens up your lashes, lengthens them out, doesn't necessarily add a lot of bulk to each lash. If that's more your jam, this might be a little much for you, but if you like really thickened up lashes that you can kind of like see from a distance, you know, this stuff is surprisingly good. And so I just kind of continue to like it more and more with each passing day and each application. Another makeup thing, you guys, this Super Stay of Vinyl ink. At first, I kind of didn't like this stuff. I have it in the shade Lippy, and I remember putting it on and thinking, like, just initial reaction. Mm, I'm not sure if I like this semi-set thing that's going on. Like, it continues to have kind of a tacky feel. It's been on my lips now for probably 20 minutes, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of a shine. It looks like a cream finish you know, not a completely matte lip, and it just never completely sets. But yet, it does last all darn day because I took a picture at dinner time yesterday with this same color on, and I was like, you know, it looks pretty darn even still. Like it had faded just a little in terms of the intensity I've got right now to where it was at the end of the day, but it was so smooth and not like wearing off in a patchy, unsightly way. For the last few days, I've just been wearing this and been keeping a close watch on it. And I love the shade. I think maybe you might get different experiences with like a much darker shade than this. Maybe it wouldn't wear off just as smoothly. But I would say the wear down was minimal it was kind of like an overall slight fade to the color without anything weird going on on that lower lip area. And then by the time I was removing my makeup, I was definitely removing a lot of this too. So it really lasted the whole day. Thing is, it just has a little texture and some people might really welcome that after all the matte things. I think I've almost gotten so used to some of the matte products that it's like, Ooh, what's that tackiness, you know? It's just different. It's not like the smoothness you get or the butteriness, the creaminess from a classic lipstick or a lip balm, you know? It's like just a little feeling of tackiness to if you press your lips together, there's a little bit of cling. And I will say it kind of lessens as the whole entire day goes on because I noted when I took that picture, I felt hardly any tackiness actually by that point. But for a good amount of the day, you will feel it. But a color like this that really does have a little richness to it, I think it makes you look so put together, you know, all day long. If that's hanging around there and you're not remembering to touch up and you're not really needing to, you're looking like you've got that put together face throughout the whole day. And so even though it's kind of a different feel for me, I really can't deny the freshness of the look by day's end. I am totally impressed by that. Now, last thing, I'm gonna put it on for you. I've got a light little bit of some blush on. I use my um, Bobbi Brown Jones Road. I'm sorry, Jones Road. I got some of the Miracle Balm in the shade Tawny, and it's a little bit richer color, like has a little more red in it. And I had popped that on my cheeks earlier, but it's still like really light. But this stuff from Laura Mercier, has anyone tried this? This is crazy. It's the blush color infusion in the shade All That Sparkles, and it looks, like, what is that? You know, is that blush? Is that gonna be a highlight? I tell you what, somehow this kind of transforms on the cheeks. I'm gonna put my blush brush into it. I've got the product there. Look at a beautiful rosiness that's gonna take shape on my cheeks. And you're gonna be like, what? That came from that? It's so fascinating. Like this looks downright almost colorless. I mean, it looks like to glance at that, I'd be like, okay, maybe that's a, a sheer highlighter, but I end up with this really pretty rosy color on the cheeks that's so much more than I would think this product would deliver. I just had to apply that for you so you could see the magic of it. Um, it does have a glow, as you can see, kind of a satin finish. So, so pretty though, and it's so unexpected. I mean, if you just want a fun, like, wow kind of product, like even to swatch it out on my skin, I'm not seeing that much. You know, there's a little more depth, maybe, as I blend it in. Yeah, you first get a fresh swatch and it looks really light, but then I kind of blend it in and 
it richens up just slightly. It's strange, guys, but it's fun. So I wanted to tell you about that. It's the shade All That Sparkles. I have a lighter kind of like peachy colored one too, but this one really seems to be working the magic. Now I'm gonna move on to my five like body sort of related things. Um, one of them is actually a hand sanitizer. The EOS Shea Butter Hydrating Hand Sanitizer. We are out of this one actually, um, and it's in the Coconut Waters one. They have a, at Walmart, they have this and they have I think it's a raspberry one. I gave one to my mom, uh, but it says kills 99.9% .9 of harmful bacteria and instantly moisturizes skin. So we all know the trouble with a lot of hand sanitizers is that it just dries out your hands. I already get dry hands from washing dishes and washing hands in general. You don't need your hand sanitizer to come in and be like, okay, whenever you use me, I'm going to dry you out even more. This actually is very non-drying and has a beautiful feel on the skin. Um, this scent is great. I noticed the last time I was shopping for some, they were were actually very picked over. It says, say hello to refreshed soft hands, fast absorption, say goodbye to dry feeling hands or sticky residue. So yeah, it is a good middle ground. You feel moisturized, but it doesn't feel heavy or sticky. If you need to have a hand sanitizer around, sometimes you just need that. And this is the one I would definitely recommend. And now it's going back into my empties bin. Super Goop Glow Screen Body. Many people love the glow screen on the face. It's a really pretty, like dewy, glowy looking SPF. And and this is the SPF 40 for body. And I couldn't believe like how beautiful this looks all over the skin. Like not in a cheesy, like over the top way. It makes all your skin look good. Even if you don't love all your places on your body, like it literally makes all the skin look good. Collarbone area, down the arms, the legs, like everything has a beautiful sheen, but you've got the SPF. And I will say as convenient sometimes as the spray sunscreens are, the kind you actually rub into your skin that's that's a cream is so much more effective in my experience and if you're really wanting your skin to just beam and look stunning I was astounded and it wasn't in a way of like wow I'm like a disco ball now but it was kind of the subtlety of it all and how I felt like okay I've got really pretty glowing skin it doesn't look over the top but my skin just looks great with this on so I highly recommend checking that out you know I think lots of people talk about the one for the face but the body one is great too also, my milky leave-in conditioner from Sol de Janeiro. So this is the brand that's making the Bum Bum Cream. They've got that same scent in this leave-in conditioner. And guys, oh, it's so good. And I use this on my hair and my girl's hair if we're just, you know, fresh out of the pool and I'm like trying to comb out the tangles and whatnot. This is so great. I love the little nozzle here. And I'll put it on my hair, of course, after a shower and then put my hair up in a turby twist. My hair's smelling good, but it's got that added, you know, level of moisture during a time when the chlorine, you know, the summertime, the pool water, it's all drying out the hair. If you're going to use something like this, it might as well smell amazing. On the topic of amazing smells, I love my tree hut scrubs. I have some tremendous scents in those. I, the watermelon, the pineapple, they're absolutely good enough to eat. But I gotta say, Dr. Teal's is coming for it. You know, they are entering the body scrub game as well. And I love these so much. The smells on these are more like complex. I'd say my very favorite one is the shea butter and almond oil. It's so fragrant. You're gonna smell it after you get out of the shower. It's like, Oh, it's sweet, but it's rich. Oh, and the um, scrub is so incredibly concentrated. To me, it feels like the same quality of scrub as Tree Hut. Just, you know, some different scents. So Shea Butter and Almond Oil, that's my number one pick, but I also love the Black Elderberry. Again, it's, there is a scent, but there's like almost a more perfumed quality to these. Whereas with my Tree Hut ones, at least the scents I've gotten, you know, they smell exactly like the thing. Okay, pineapple, yes, that's pineapple. Watermelon, that's watermelon. These are a little bit more like, okay, well, you've got that base scent, but it's it's richer, it's a little more complex. I'm not doing the best job explaining it, but they are some really good scents. And you can go into Walmart, wherever you find these sold, and give them a, give them a whiff. These two scents I love. They are also paraben and phthalate free. And again, just as concentrated as can be with the scrubbies. So you're gonna do some serious exfoliation with that stuff. The last thing I'm gonna mention, here. Four years, ever since college, I've been using and loving those Olay Daily Facials Cleansing Cloths. They're dry and you get water on them. They suds up, they're soapy, and they remove all your makeup 
just amazingly well, don't irritate the eyes. I've loved those, but you can't really find them anymore, okay? So I'm trying to use other cleansers. I'm trying to just, you know, sidestep a cloth entirely and use different oils, cleansers, whatever, that just take the stuff off. It's fine. But I did still want something to even just be able to quickly take my makeup off. Like when I go swimming, I don't like to have makeup on at all. So I wanted something where I could just like zip across the skin, get it removed, right? And then get some sunscreen on. These are from Aldi. These are the Lacura Face Care Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. I mean, maybe it's just been a long time since I've used a towelette, like a pre-moistened cloth, but my gosh, are these like juicy and good and saturated with stuff and plenty big enough and not tearing and take off eye makeup without irritating my eyes. Like they're really good cloths. I don't know if these have some kind of cult following that I don't know about. I don't know what the deal is, but I also, a tip, store them with the seal down. So that way, you know, the one you're taking out is definitely going to be super juicy. But typically in my past experience, anytime I would use a pre-moistened wipe, it would irritate my eyes. And these don't do that at all. I can get all up in there. It's taking off the mascara, the eyeliner, the shadow sticks, um, all the foundation. I've even checked it by using like toners and stuff afterwards to see if can I pick up anything extra on the cotton ball? No, it's truly removing it all. So it might not be something that I'm using every single day, but to have on hand or, you know, if you're traveling, if you just need a makeup removing wipe, those are amazing. I was so surprised and impressed but you might say, then how did you even get that brand in your head? Um, or how did you even think to buy those at Aldi? Well, I do follow, I don't know if it's a Facebook friend of mine or somebody who was posting and I saw their post through the Aldi nerds like Facebook group, but someone was talking about how much they liked the Aldi skincare stuff just as a whole. And so I think that got it in my head. And then I also bought the Aldi night cream and I'm drying that out too. You just never know until you dry sometimes, okay? So to be continued on that, but thank you guys so so much for watching. I just wanted to share these products that had just been things where I'm like, oh yeah, I need to talk about that. I need to talk about that, but it's down in my bathroom. I'm going to forget. I'm rounding it up and I'm also going to talk about those makeup things that are working their way into my looks so, so often these days. So thank you for your time, everybody, and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.